हेलो हाउ आर यू ऑल नाउ एज पर पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच वी आर गोइंग थ्रू अवर फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच प्रीपोजिशन एज आई टोल यू अर्लियर डेट नाउ प्रो नाउ देन कंजेक्शन देन नाउ वाई प्रीपोजिशन वॉट इज अ प्री पोजिशन द वर्ड इट सेल्फ सजेस्ट प्री एंड पोजिशन we are having our own position in our in our society in our family but here it is written pre position before the position we can say pre positions are the most useful things they are somewhat not somewhat but like conjunctions without pre position you cannot make a sentence yeah you cannot go through a sentence in a particular meaning yeah a particular sentence is made with any type of expressions in daily routine in daily uh, we can say <coughs> sentences ya yeah, talking ya yeah, singing even ya yeah, narrating something we are using prepositions so prepositions are useful like conjunction what were conjunction conjunction was to join two words to sentences to phrases to clauses now what is preposition <coughs> as early as i told pre and position so prepositions also join something as you know noun you know noun the name of person place or thing and then added animals also as we are keeping name of animals also that was noun the word which came instead of noun was pronoun that we were using then we got conjunction and now preposition then what is preposition let us preposition is a word used with a noun or pronoun please noun and pronoun preposition is a word used with noun or pronoun to show position place time or means what does this mean this mean why i narrated again that thing why i told what is now the name of person place or thing now preposition means a word used with a noun or pronoun to show what position of something place we can say time or the meanings means mean meaning here the preposition is a word again i am repeating use with a noun noun ke sath aata hai or pronoun to show something to show some position some place some time or means other thing a preposition is a word placed before a noun or pronoun placed before means we are giving position preposition a <coughs> preposition is a word placed before noun or pronoun to show in what relation the person or thing denoted the noted by it stands in regard to something else got this sentences i know 100% you didn't get this sentences something changed this was the easier one then came the hard definition tough definition with different words here it is <coughs> a preposition is a word placed before a noun or pronoun till that i think so everybody <coughs> got the idea <coughs> sorry to show in what relation in what relation to noun ya yeah, pronoun the person or thing denote by its stands in regard to something else it stands it gives a position it gives a regard we are giving regards to our friends also to our family by an email i told once that you are writing regards from this so we are giving here regards so it denoted by stand in regard to stand in a position but pre 
position to something else. We don't know to what. Either it might be place, it might be thing, it might be noun, it might be pronoun, whatever. But it gives a particular strength. Thoda dhakka we can say. Something added. A boy. Example, good boy. We are using adjective in that. But if he is doing or she is doing something, then what strength we have to use? Preposition or yeah, conjunction. If two sentences are there, we are using conjunction. Now, let us see what does it mean. <coughs> joins noun to noun. It joins noun to noun. We will go through the example also. Noun to adjective. It joins noun to adjective. It joins noun to verb. Why I am using this word join, join, join? It has already been derived in your conjunction. But understand in conjunction what we were doing? Word to word. Sentence to sentence. Close to close. Phrase to phrase. But here something in advance we are joining to now. Now to now. Noun to adjective and noun to verb. But how? How we join? We are using in each and every sentence, we are using prepositions. But how? You all know prepositions are the easiest thing. Small, small word. On, if, we can use for also. So just same in a category of conjunction, prepositions are also there. Understand one concept, they are used for before noun or yeah, pronoun. But it can be said they are, they can be used after noun and pronoun also. Let's have one example for that. Example is, there is a cow in the field. Here cow is a noun, field also is a noun. So what does, what is a preposition? In the, no, this is a preposition. Where is the cow? It's a simpler, the simplest example that I am giving to you. There is a cow in the field. Where is the cow? The cow is in the field. So in stands for preposition. Cow stands for noun. And field you all know, it's also a noun. The another just we will go with pronoun also. He is fond of tea. Oh, sorry, with adjective. He is fond of tea. Fond hona yani. You are fond of Sachin. You might be fond of Sachin Tendulkar. Somebody might be Virat Kohli. Somebody would like to have a good dishes. Fond of good dishes might be Dabeli Vada Pao, etc., etc. Many many things. Well, most probably in Palanpur we are going through samosa and kachuri. So you might be fond of different things. There is, sorry, he is fond of tea. As I am fond of coffee, I would like to have it many times as I told in your classes also. One jug full I will take it. But your fond means adjective. Pasand hai. Fond means pasand hai. Acha lagta hai of tea. Tea is a noun. Which noun? Can anybody just imagine which noun tea will be? It's a liquid form. It's a material noun. Tea is a material noun. If you will go through easily in the way what I have taught in my earlier videos, if you will practice, you will be mastered in your grammar. So, <coughs> Your adjective. Now, what is the preposition? What it? Fond of. You have to write this preposition. This is the preposition. Another one example about verb. The cat jumped off the chair. The cat jumped. J U M P E D, it's a verb. Why I have written O F? Why not O?
what does the sentence says the cat jumped off the chair the cat jump off by kursi pe baithi thi cat kood gayi so i have written off and off is the preposition now again join with two objects the road run over hill and cliff they i told there there must be a object it's also join the object so the road run over the hill and cliff so there are <coughs> two object here number 1 and number 2 the run kahan jata hai bhai the road kahan jata hai hill pe jata hai aur plain mein jaye plain you know the so now preposition use after object pehle maine bola tha ki use before subject now it is use after subject wow how it is here is a watch you asked for what is this this is the preposition for is the preposition but it is used after object subject doesn't determine anything in this thing here is the what you asked for what are you looking at what is at at is a preposition and at comes as a object what is the subject what are you thinking of again of why not o double f o double f means switch on the switch switch off the switch that off stands for band karna band karu here is the preposition of that are being used as object which of the sorry these which of this chair did you sit on is it right sentence i have given to you which of this chair did you sit on two preposition chalo bhai two preposition which of these why not p h i s Here you are mistaken. So I started preposition. So I started noun, pronoun, and then conjunction. Here you are mistaken. Which of these? Yes, sorry, Kusia padi hai. Did you sit on? Kaun si ek kursi me baithungi? Itni sorry. So here it is written this chair, not chairs. Chairs will not come. Only chair. Understand? singular plural form and the use of that form practice this preposition next in my next session i will go through many many other parts of preposition thank you